Final round of this year's championship is split into three heats, which means Friday afternoon means stages for us, and we will have our first heat wrapped up with points tonight. So a great chance to come into the service park after the power stage and chat to all the teams, see how they're feeling before heat one. And, of course, we're going to have a chat to our winner of the power stage and collecting some more points and helping your championship aspirations. Eli, great job this morning. Yeah, no, it was good. Um, first car on the road was a bit loose, and I, I think I said at the start line to you, Dino, I reckon I've got a... a 49 or something and we managed to beat that even again so um, you know the conditions of the stage improved drastically and it was just extra grip levels we were able to push a bit harder and a bit deeper into corners and, and get the result. Uh, the carrot for you was obviously those five points you know Molly's time was on the board um, you're just trying to keep chipping away and get those points up and up and up and this is a really important heat for you this afternoon as well. Yeah just keep applying pressure to Molly she's basically got to beat me on three days now the way I see it so um, unless we have some dramas um, she's going to have to drive the the uh, the ring out of the little Renault to keep up with the Citroen. Oh, we're enemies again. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the championship hunt of an Australian Rally Championship. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, there's always nerves before every rally, but I don't think, I mean, really, that's not playing on my mind too much. We just want to, um, you know, I guess I'm really determined at the final round. We've had, you know, a great year up to now, and I really want to put my best into this event and, and personally be satisfied with our performance. And, and if I'm personally satisfied with our performance, you know, we can't change anything else. So that's... That's kind of our philosophical goal for the weekend. <laughs> You've really come to grips with this car and I think you enjoyed the last three rounds, it just hadn't quite gone your way. Yep, that's it, that's the one. I mean, I'm fighting with Simon for the wooden spoon, but uh, at the end of the day, I'm just really stoked that I've got my head around the car now. Yeah. And for that, I mean, obviously you'd love to finish the season off on a high, but your power stage times and you've been close to a, you know, the guy who potentially might win the championship, um, really encouraging for you personally to develop this car. You do a lot of that yourself and have the speed you've got. Yeah, like for an old fella, I'm going pretty good considering. Like Eli's pretty staunch competition and, and we're running the same car. So it's a, it's a, it's, it's a big thing for me, yeah. <laughs> South Australia's not uh, been one of my favourite rallies in the past, um, but I think we could uh, probably do all right this year. Um, we've got a good car, reliable, um, as we've proven in uh, Coffs. So, yeah, just pushing for a finish tomorrow, uh, the Savo, sorry, um, so we can get that third for the championship, and, and then we might have a go from there. Uh, I read in the press earlier in the week you did downplay this. You don't think it's going to suit your car necessarily and the setup of that. And uh, you all, you know, speaking now, it's not your favourite rally, but um, your form's been really good. I think you're understating how good you might be able to go on this event. Oh, I'm glad you're hopeful. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. If we're in touch uh, at the end of today, uh, we might be uh, yeah, pushing on for something a bit more at the uh, later stages of the weekend. Marcus, the, uh, the check's on the wall. So that's what you need to do, more of that, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, we just got a plan to go out there this afternoon and just continue on and um, try and lay down some good times and see where we end up this evening. Now, it's probably been downplayed slightly by you guys, but you're in rid of the real chance of this championship. You know, Mick's going to struggle to probably earn extra points, so really the ball's in your court on how your weekend goes, and it could be really tight come Sunday afternoon. Yeah, look, um, we're under no illusions. We've got to finish top two in all of these heats and, um, and then we've got a real crack at it. So, um, you know, we just have to go out there and, and do our best and, you know, leave everything out there on the field, so to speak. Mick Patton, uh, championship leader, but it's a tricky situation in the whole championship for four-wheel drives with the best three counting. You've still got plenty to play for here. Yeah? yeah, well and truly, it's, uh, it's a bit frustrating in one way that's uh, best out of three, especially when we've uh, already done four and got good results in all four. But look, that's, that's what we knew before we started the year. Um, yeah, I think the, the pressure's on Marcus a little bit more than me. I've, I've got three good results. Um, but yeah, we need to still get out there and uh, yeah, see if we can block him for getting some more 60, than 69 points and yeah, hopefully wrap up the championship.